Dear John Becker, your segments on service and sacrifice are inspired. In December, we received this handwritten note from a viewer expressing a simple truth that is the basis for our ongoing series. The unsung heroes of our nation's military are all around us. The letter suggests we reach out to a former Marine named Marcus Reed. And we found him in Jefferson County at his current post as director of the E911 Center. I always wanted to be a Marine. He joined in 1967 and in short order shipped out to Vietnam. But I think it defined me as a, a person of uh, seeing what suffering is, seeing what death is, uh, more so than I ever had in my life before that. I didn't have it as rough as the kids out in the bush. The author of this letter has seen Reed shadow box, but it wasn't the medals that made the biggest impression. Not being a chest beater, he didn't go into what the several medals represented. But the jaw dropper to me was learning that Marcus Reed served on the presidential details of two of our presidents. I was president at the uh, summit between President Reagan and Gorbachev. Um, I provided security. And just as the letter notes, Reed's background in explosives detection had him rubbing shoulders with more than one commander in chief. I was able to. Uh, provide support for a Secret Service detail for then Vice President Bush. But I got to stand next to him as he was interacting with uh, so many different people and he was such a personal person. Reed's career in the military included stints in explosive ordnance instruction, security, jet mechanics, and burial detail. I taught a class called Coping with Violence. It was uh, designed by the Marines at Quantico taught ambassadors all the way down to the janitors that took care of the embassy. But his service put a heavy burden on his wife and children. And we'd been married 14 years, I figured it up. And this was not all at one time, but I've gone seven years. I have three sons. None of my sons ever served in the military. Uh, they say that they spent their time. Marcus Reed's 26 years in the Corps were marked by a rare joint service parade. That's quite an honor in itself. It included a salute to this retiring lieutenant colonel from not one, but four military branches, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. When I look back, I just see how blessed I am. Here in little old Jefferson City is one of those unsung heroes who served in war and peace from the Vietnam era to the White House. Thank you, William Payne.